All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. And it's a sis, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic about how the apostles of Great Millstone are our spiritual fathers, you know, to the ones that are in the truth, you know. Because you have guys that's that's sitting up here saying that though that they're not, you know. Um, let me just get into the lesson. Um, this is first Corinthians four and nine. For I think that Yahweh Basimi Awasha, the most high, has set forth us the apostles last, is it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake. Right, and when you look at you know Great Millstone, uh, basically everybody hates you know Great Millstone, you know starting with Apostle Tahar on down, you know because we bring out the truth, you know we go out there in the in the in the um in the in the winter, you know in the heat, we we go out there, you know we teach the word, you know whether people like it or not, you know we're made fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, you know. Even appointed to death, you know, because a lot of people, they want to kill us just from off of the fact that we going out in the winter. Or the fact that we, we speak in the truth that's inside the scriptures. Well, that's the same way how they killed Yahweh Shah, you know. Yahweh Shah, the one who the world isn't really calls Jesus, he was killed, man. Because people couldn't, uh, pe people were so wicked, man. It says, we are, fool for, we are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh Shah. We are weak, but you are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. You know, a lot of people they want to they 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 want the honor, you know, they they but you know they they want to be loved by everybody, you know. They want to be the, the strong uh the strong Jews, you know. Um it's even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and are naked and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. And that's that's for certain, you know, uh brothers that's in this truth too, man. That 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 going through the, you know, uh the trials and tribulations for Yahweh Shah. Right? And the apostles went through this too, man. You know? That's why I'm bringing this out. It says, and labor working with our own hands. You know, cause they 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 put in the work, man, and they they not uh they they don't um they not sitting up there Letting other people uh, bring out the, the, the truth, man. You know? They're putting in the work, man. They're doing what they, they need to do to make sure that they're calling an election is sore. You know? With, on, on their own hands. You know, studying. You know, the things that they done went through. You know? For for 30 odd years. You know? It says, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Yeah, a lot of people can't suffer the things that, you know, the apostles on down. You know, starting with Apostle Tahar done suffered, man. You know? And, and he's still being a brother, man. It says, being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscouring of all things unto this day. You know, and that's talking about to this present day, man. You know, the apostles are, are made to be the filth of the world, you know? Setting that example the same way how Yahweh Shah was supposed to be the filth for the world, you know? And there's nothing new on today. We're taking on that burden. This is the next verse. This is the point. It says, I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you, you know? And when you, when you look at the apostles, you know, and, and the examples that they're saying or setting, you know, guys that when they come into this truth, you know? They are basically your spiritual fathers, you know. The apostles of Great Millstone. If you're in, if you're in Great Millstone or you got kicked out, they are basically your spiritual fathers. And this is Paul writing this to him. You know, it says, "And I write not these things to shame you." You know, so when you come into this truth, you shouldn't be a saint. You know, it says, "But as my beloved sons, I warn you." You know. So, so Paul was warning the Corinthians, you know, back then, that when you're coming to this truth, these are the things that you're going to have to go through. And these are the, the, the same way how the apostles right now, they setting that example, you know? 
No, I want to go into this this word uh, sons. And when you go into the word son, the Greek is technon, right? Now it says offspring, children, right? But here go the point. It says metaphor. The name transferred to that intimate and reciprocal relationship formed between men by the bonds of love, friendship, trust, justice between parents and ch children, okay? So the, the, the sons, them being our spiritual uh, fathers, you know, that's a, meta that's a metaphor, man, you know? Just, this, this, it says just as between parents and children, okay? So the same way how, you know, that they're uh, teaching us, you know, what it takes to be in this thing, man. That's the same way how a father is supposed to teach his son, okay? And, and a, lot of these, a lot of these guys who sit up there, they, they saying that the apostles are not their fathers or they coming up against them, you know, they, don't, they never had real men in their lives, man, you know? It says, um... An affectionate address, such as patrons, helpers, teachers, and the like, employ my child. Okay? Here go another good, good point. Okay? It says, in the New Testament, pupils or disciples are called children's, children of their teachers. Okay? Are not the apostles the great millstone our teachers? It says, because the latter, by their instruction, nourish the minds of their pupils and mold their characters okay and how are they nourishing our mind man through 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 youtube you know going out there put putting up more, uh a lot of videos you know edifying the sheep man and 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 showing us the example of how we supposed to be man being the the the, the men of the lord that we're we were called to be you know they're nourishing the minds of their pupils, okay, and molding their characters and what you're supposed to be, what type of things you're supposed to be looking for, you know, how you're supposed to be patient in this truth, okay. So, so if you're following after their examples, then you're gonna grow up and you're gonna be able to teach the other people how to be, man, you know. This is First Timothy five and one, rebuke not an elder. But entreat him as a father, and the younger men as brethren. Okay, we supposed to entreat them. Okay, we're going in this word entreat, man. It says to call to one side, call for, summon, admonish, exhort, beg, entreat, beseech, to strive to appease by entreaty, to console, to encourage, and strengthen by consolation, to comfort. Okay, so we supposed to treat them as our as our fathers, man. Okay, from off of all the work that they done did, you know, you don't disrespect somebody that been in this thing, man. That done, that done brought you out of this, you know. Uh, it's all it's all spiritual, you know. Yahweh Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. Yahweh Shai set up the apostles, man. You know when he came in through through when he, when Yahweh Shai was walking on this earth. Yahweh, the Most High, gave Yahweh Shai men, okay? And Yahweh Shai told those men what to do, man, you know, and what they're supposed to be doing, okay? Through the Spirit, okay? This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. For ye are bought with a price, okay? And, and that price, man, is, is, you know, the blood of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I mean, Yahweh Shai, man, Salaki, you know? That's the price, man, you know? So when you come in this in this truth, man, you know you 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 have to to realize, man, that 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 it's an order to this this thing, man. Okay, and and, and you basically putting Yahweh Shah to open shame, man. You know by coming up coming up against his men. You know that that Yahweh the Most High and gave him. Okay, we are brought with a price. Therefore, glorify Yahweh, Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah in your body and in your spirit, which are which are Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's. Okay? Now, when, when you look at this, it says you are brought with a price. The, 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 the scriptures or parable that came to my mind was Luke 9, 9, 19 and 12. Okay? It says, He said, therefore, a certain nobleman 
went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy until I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. Okay? Now, when you look at the fact that this nobleman gave his ten servants ten pounds each, okay, and he told he gave them a, a job, okay, to occupy until I come, okay, and the citizens, you know, they y'all y'all the, the the guys the scoffers, you know, y'all basically are saying that y'all don't want this nobleman to to reign over y'all, you know, y'all guys y'all basically killing the messengers, okay. The messages, the 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 uh, are are the apostles on down, man. Starting with apostle to heart. Y'all don't y'all basically they're the messengers of Yahweh Shah. You know y'all basically saying that y'all don't want Yahweh Shah to reign over y'all. Okay, it says, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know. How much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound has gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou has been faithful in very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound has gained five pounds. And he said unto him, and he said likewise to him, Be thou over also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear you, because you are an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Okay? Now, when you look at this, man, a lot of these guys, man, they don't, they don't, they, they, the, the guys, when, when the apostles came in, you know, into one west, a lot of those guys went back into the world, man. Okay, a lot of those guys went back into the world. And the apostles are the only ones who, through the years, man, they, they didn't stay onto this truth, man. Now all these guys want to come out and they want to try to, you know, do, do something, you know, because they see things uh, coming to, coming to pass. You know, but the apostles done stayed, man. They they done been diligent, man. Okay. They done been diligent, man. You know, the Yahweh Yahweh Shah gave them the 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 pound, man, and told them, man. He he bought he bought he he's buying these people, man. You, you got to go out here. and You got to trade with these people, man. You know, and that's the, that's out on the market um, in 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 the streets, man. Okay. So it says, um, he said unto him, out of your own mouth will I judge you, you wicked servant. And that's what a lot of y'all niggas are, man. Y'all wicked servants, man. It says, thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid that not down and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank that I'm at my coming, I might have required my own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound and give it to him that has ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he has ten pounds. For I say unto you that every one which hath shall be given. And from him that hath not, even that he shall be taken away from him. Okay? But bring those, I mean, but those my enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay before me. Okay? Now, y'all y'all guys, man, who don't want to get down with the fact that the, the apostles of Great Millstone are our are, are fathers, you know, and Yahweh Shah, you know, he sent them out as, as his servants, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to occupy until he come. Okay? Y'all guys are going to get destroyed, man. You know? And that's 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 scriptures, man. I got one more scripture. It's Second Timothy three and one. 
It says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, okay? For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, okay? And that's the point, disobedient to parents. And I want to go into this, this, this word, parents, right? And it says, fathers, okay? Parent, the parents, okay? Now, in this scripture, it says, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. And a lot of y'all guys that was in Great Millstone that got kicked out or y'all no longer a part of this, um, Great Millstone, y'all are in danger of the, the, the fire that's coming, man. You know, y'all going to get destroyed, man, if y'all don't repent, okay? But with that, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying, you know, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere Salawan to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Salawan.